21 years after the 9-11 attack sent shockwaves across the country, citizens, veterans, and soldiers alike gathered today to honor their ultimate sacrifice. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson joining us live in Richmond after attending Virginia's annual Patriot Day ceremony. And Roland, what was it like for those who attended today? Well, Eric Deanna, it's clear that the sacrifices that were made on that day have lived on in the years since. And visitors I spoke with today say they will continue to keep those memories alive. Music filled the Virginia War Memorial today as people gathered and new soldiers stood to honor those who put their life on the line 21 years ago during 9 11. And after 21 years, we are still angry, we are still hurt. We are still at a loss to comprehend the magnitude of the terrible events of 9-11. Virginia's governor at the time, James Gilmore, was in New York just a day before the World Trade Center was attacked. He spoke today about what he remembers. And then in a blink of an eye, everything was on fire. And it was the following events that made him redefine what patriotism really means. Those who know the danger, and they go anyway. And to honor those patriots, a bell rang three times. Once for the fall of the World Trade Center in New York. Once for the Pentagon in Arlington. And once more for the down jet airline in Pennsylvania. For people like Army vet Chuck Holter, taking the time today is his honor. He says every day after 9-11 has been a teaching moment for future generations. People thank me for my service, but it was my honor. Programs like this just keeps it in the forefront to keep the country that you love on your mind all the time. Now, today's event was just the start of the commitment that the Virginia War Memorial has made to not only learn about the past, but continue to teach others in the future. Live in Richmond, Roland Wilson, 8 News.